Hey everybody, how's it going? This is uh, Sawyer from Sawyer's Films. Just here to do a quick little uh, uh, motion tracking uh, tutorial for Motion 5, which is available uh, the App Store or the Mac App Store. Uh, this is for Mac, and I, do, I don't believe they have a, a Motion 5 for PC, but um, you should definitely consider getting it if you have a Mac. It's only $50, and it does a lot of the stuff that um, a lot of stuff that After Effects does on uh, a much more user-friendly um, kind of like operating system. So we're going to go ahead and uh, get our clip. Let's start a new clip. Um, let's see here. You could go in and just have your regular clip and then adjust the, the overall uh, clip time. But I'm just going to do create project from file. This way it's automatically as long as the file that we're importing. So let's see here. This is a, a video I'm going to be working on where uh, I do ponies in San Francisco. I take a trip to San Francisco. So uh, here we have a, a, a like an older kind of building. Going to have some probably some uh, flying ponies in this one since it's not showing the ground. First things first, um, we're going to go head into our library and go into behaviors. Right over here should be the um, about the fourth one down, motion tracking. Analyze motion. So we drag it onto the... Um, the main clip that we're gonna be analyzing and you have to make sure uh, before you record that you have like a a reference point to be recording and that it's always on screen at all times I'm gonna choose this little corner right here go over here and kind of adjust that looks pretty good so we're gonna hit analyze now depending on how long the clip is uh, it could take a little while sometimes um, if you don't have good pixel quality on your camera or it's too jittery or shaky. Uh, the motion uh, tracking is not going to work. You have to make sure that um, you know you're keeping your camera pretty steady. Um, I mean, it's not like losing it every single second. You can see that it's it's holding on to our uh, our uh, tracked motion uh, point pretty well over here to the left, where it says tracker preview. Now it does take a little bit to track, and um, one of the things that I don't like about Motion 5, and that's pretty much one of the only things, is that I can't go out and do other stuff while this is loading, or else it'll just stop. It's like uh, the machine has to just worry about this, and I don't want to hear anybody in the comments being like, oh, Max, they can't do it, but uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much uh, the only thing. I mean, it's, it's pretty great besides that. Um, I get all my green screen uh, ponies from uh, Green Screen Ponies, <laughs> the YouTube channel, which will be found in this the description, uh, Little Shy or Storm or there's a third guy and I'm forgetting his name, but uh, they all do it. They can for free. All they ask is that you put the their name uh, in the Green Screen Ponies channel in the description, which to be honest I have not been doing and I should probably go back and do it right now. So <laughs> don't tell uh, Little Shy or Storm. They'll get mad at me and yell at me for not following the rules again oh well that's what you get for being a, a hipster individual swag mm. Mm. so um, it looks like our video is pretty much almost done uh, just a couple more seconds um, this is what I do for all my videos it does take uh, a little bit of time and I just need to sit down and do it every once in a while but it looks like uh, we're pretty much done here Oh, pretty good, pretty good. I cut it in iMovie, which is a free that comes on Max. It's free for Max, whatever. So uh, I'm gonna go over here. I have everything organized in my desktop. Um, so I'm gonna go down to uh, Video Raw. Actually, sorry, that's what I keep other stuff in. I gonna go. I I cleaned this up the other day. I'm pr I'm proud of myself because I I'm usually everything's everywhere. So uh, I I made a, a green a video green screen folder. So um uh, I advise you heavily to. <laughs> to get all your stuff straightened out as soon as you can which is like always always label it and create folders so let's go ahead and grab derpy let's say uh... derpy's actually let's get someone else, I'm, I have an idea for derpy in another part of this but uh... let's say I get rainbow dash she's probably flying doing something so we're gonna drag and drop rainbow dash over here now she's gonna be green which is good it's what you want so you're gonna go over here to keying and then keyer now it looks looks pretty pretty good already. So we're gonna go into a inspector. We're gonna go to composite and grab a sample color. 
Now, I haven't worked out this bug yet, and you might see it in my videos, that there's a strip of her tail missing, and sometimes a strip of her hair missing. Ugh. Trust me, if I found a way to, to get that out there, I would, and people always tell me, but I'm sorry, there's, like, no way. We She has almost every color on her body. I'm thinking brown, but... Anyway, that's just a thing. Um, depending on some of the videos, they have a little bit of a line around them. You could crop them just a little bit over here, which I advise doing about three every single time or whatever, whatever. So I go over here, and uh, if you play the video, um, she's not going to... Oh, let me drag her in. She's not going to stay on the video. She's just over the video right now, which isn't what we want. So we want to go over here and go into library. Same folder, behaviors, map... Uh, motion tracking and do match move now you drag that over the rainbow dash or the folder or the the video that you want to um, match the move of the previous analyzed so basically what you do now is just grab the analyzed um, motion and drag it over the previous or the new the new motion so I'm gonna go ahead and drag that now sometimes it will um, glitch out and you your, whatever your subject is will go flying in the other direction and it's like an inverted way to get you have to like bring it back and when you bring it back it's all inverted partially and it's just you just have to be patient with it sometimes um, it comes up a little blurry that's normal it just means that it's it's rendering a little bit um, you know as you can see it stays pretty well on the on the video not too jittery but it does add that little bit of realism that she is actually in, you know, our world. Now you get fancy over here, and you know, add shadow effect, drop shadow. You could play around with that. You could go into the behaviors and really spice up, you know, what you want her to look like or do in here. But pretty much, just, this is the gist of it. Um, most of my videos do have it just ending like this, where the final product is like this. And I do get yelled at for not doing fine details, but I'm more of the get the point across kind of guy. And hopefully, if I get some some better uh, better plugins or maybe tips on how to further enhance it, um, we will. Uh, I'll work on it more. So, uh, thanks for tuning in for this. Whoa, seven minutes long. Jeez. Uh, thanks for staying all the way. If you if you have stayed all the way, if this video helped you, don't forget to like it. I always I always use the likes as way to go back to a video I, I like to show my friends or I want to remember. So go ahead and hit that like button to tab this video in your likes. And uh, if you ever make your own My Little Pony in real life, send it to me. I'll like it. I'll comment it. I'll share it with my subscribers. I love having new people in the IRL community. Uh, Storm and everybody wants you to come over and join our Skype group for a tea party and so we can watch the cuckoo bird scream as she plays Amnesia on the live streams that he hosts. So um, you'll see the final version of this clip right after this and I'll hope to see you guys later. Bye.